And as we keep a watchful eye on the skies for extreme weather, all eyes are also on Singapore as the iconic Formula One night race returns to Marina Bay. Ali Vamsha has more from the teams who are getting into high gear at the F1 pit building. The wheels are turning for the 10 competing teams here as preparations run like clockwork at the pit building. For the thousands involved in the many moving parts of the Formula One Singapore Grand Prix, they say they're in high spirits and ready to rumble for three days of exhilarating action. This year's event will witness a nail-biting clash for supremacy between Red Bull Racing and McLaren Mercedes in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships. One star to watch is last year's winner Carlos Sainz, who's been in the city-state since early this week. The Ferrari driver says the Singapore race holds a special place in his heart. The good thing is that I know how to win in Singapore and I know the ingredients that it takes to, to take a win. So it just wants me, motivates me to try and repeat it, have a good look at what I did right last year and try to mimic, try to copy and see if we can win it again this year. This will also be the 200th F1 race of the Spanish driver's career and he's looking for a better showing after crashing at last week's Azerbaijan Grand Prix. We've been working well lately as a team and uh, it's so unfortunate what happened in Baku because we were on for another big, uh, big uh, points finish for the team. Fans will also be eager to see if championship leader Max Verstappen can break his winless streak since June. But history is against the Dutchman. He's never won, never been on pole position and never set a fastest race lap in Singapore. Plus, the weatherman says there's a chance of showers over the weekend with humid conditions throughout. Are you acclimatized to the humidity? Yeah, yeah. And... yeah I love it. I love it. I, I love it because I know the other drivers don't, so that makes me like it more. I think this one now is, is maybe a little bit easier physically because they changed the, the last sector. Already last year they changed it, but there's, there's now a straight in where before used to be you know four, four more corners. And the Straits is an opportunity for us to actually rest and, and catch our breath. As with past editions, this year's affair promises to be a long and draining one for the drivers. And because of the physical demands of the climate and circuit, they can lose as much as 3 kilograms of body weight over the course of the race. Qualifying sessions take place tomorrow.